Students were coming to us with huge, huge gaps in their learning. I had teachers coming to me, ripping their hair out, saying, I can't physically differentiate for the different levels in my classroom. And we just thought there has to be a better way because if you don't fill those gaps, if you don't have that foundation, you can't move on. My name is Bridget Mallory and I'm the Acting Head of Department for Junior Mathematics at Park Ridge State High School. Our school vision is excellence in all we do. Our moral imperative is that a student should learn at a, a full year level every year and our teachers work hard in that space. You know, math in terms of our demographic has been a challenging subject. In a traditional classroom, if you're just teaching to the middle, you're really losing those students at that top end and at the lower end who need that further support. Even though it may seem like you're teaching, not every student is always learning. Success is not the same for every student in every class. We're here to learn, we're here to do what's right and we're here to work together. So we needed to think about, well, what does that look like? What stood out to me about Matt's Pathway was that it was a full teaching and learning model. It wasn't just a bolt-on resource that we could just, you know, hand to teachers and say, hey, watch this video, learn this. And that holistic approach to education that's not just about learning content or, or building the skills of a unit, but those peripheral things that come through the environment that you set up in the classroom. The teachers knew exactly the capability of the program. We were all provided with extensive professional development opportunities throughout the whole implementation process. Another great aspect is the rich data that we get back that can inform teacher planning. That's allowing us to identify where students are at and what gaps we need to improve. We were supported every step of the way. Bex really helped us to pinpoint the data that's most relevant to us at our various stages of implementation. In terms of the data side of things, the school improvement consultant is just invaluable. We were able to say, hey, this is some stuff that we need in terms of the way that our school works, the way that the state school system works. Are you able to help us to meet those requirements? And Maths Pathway was able to do that, find solutions that worked for our school setting. My practice is changing. It's changing the way that I view teaching, learning, and as well as engaging students with that learning. Everyone is liking maths more. Once you get to that point where students are in the routine and they understand the expectations and they know how to get help, then you can really facilitate the learning in a really meaningful way and make sure that every student is experiencing that success. You just gotta keep on trying until you actually get really good at it and then you're like, oh, I know how to do this. Everyone actually comes into the classroom with an expectation, a high expectation. This whole entire time, the whole 70 minutes is all going to be about learning and engaging mathematically with strategies and with learning that's fun. They're able to work collaboratively. I see students interacting together, problem solving. We basically find everything out together. It makes it a lot easier when you have other people's inputs in there. They are becoming independent learners. They're able to compare their growth scores with each other and some get really competitive, which is fun to see. That's what teaching should be about, about children having a voice. And I feel that these students, they really do. There's a quote that I really love from Nelson Mandela. Education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. And that just really resonates with me. If by the end of the term, the semester, the year, they can say, I actually had lessons that I enjoyed or I like maths now, then it's those moments that are really powerful.